Oh, hey guys. What's going on? I just got on my lunch break, and one of my favorite things to do is browse YouTube to learn more about programming and web development. So today, I'm going to go ahead and show you five of my favorite YouTubers and show you what you can learn from them. Check it out. Now, the channel that I watch the most is Simple Programmer with John Sanmez. And Simple Programmer is a lot more about soft skills, but he's starting to branch out, so there's some things like... Um, coconut oil and dealing with women so you know you pick and choose what you want he uploads a lot like two to three videos a day you're not gonna watch everything this uh, plural site um, video is really cool to hear him talk about how he made a lot of money on plural site and what that did for him um, other things like this maybe not for you regardless though he does have a lot of experience and you can learn a lot by browsing his videos now, fun fun function is actually really fun. MPJ, or Matthias Petter Johansson, has been a developer for over 10 years, so he knows a lot. If we go ahead and take a look at his channel, you can see exactly what makes it look so Hello. fun. In this video series, I will teach you how to do functional programming in JavaScript. Yes, great intro video, and you can see there are just a ton of different things that he talks about. Uh, from soft skills to harder stuff like ES6. Uh, so I would definitely check him out and I see him all the time even when I'm not looking specifically for his channel whether it be with uh, the map function or reduce something like that. Great guy, check him out. The coding train is like reading rainbow meets coding. This guy is pretty fun and he's pretty out there and quirky. So if you think my stuff is a little bit quirky this might be a level up. Regardless, when it comes down to actually learning something with programming, he does get down to business. Now, it is a little more loose and free than some of these structured videos, but uh, he still does a great job. Hello, and here we have an example now, of one of the projects that he has. Of my Frogger coding challenge series of making the game Frogger. So, in the, at the end of part three, I have this kind of version of the game that I can actually play here. And uh, in a second, I'm gonna get to the top. Like I've said before, he's a great guy. He's a little bit quirky, but um, I love his stuff. When so it comes down do to it, he really can teach you something that you need to learn. Part, the first three parts. Now, this is probably the developer that I can most relate to. We're about the same age. Um, he's a little more advanced than me, but we have the same goals. Coding Tutorials 360 does do a lot of teaching, but I really subscribe for his live feeds and what he talks about. So, you know, I'm going through a lot of these things myself and seeing what he's doing to advance his career or what struggles he's dealing with is uh, really great for me. Definitely check him out. It is more like a live stream type content. Uh, it's, it's loose, it's free, and there is some teaching there, but for the most part right now, he's really talking about his experiences. It's a great channel for those intermediate developers uh, to see someone and relate to them. For me, it's like therapy. <laughs> Definitely check him out. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without checking out and of course it wouldn't be complete without putting Eli the computer guy on here. Now I don't watch Eli all the time but when I do he always has great insight. He's been in the tech world for a long long time and has been putting up videos for a long long time. Definitely check him out. He has everything from like hardware to like networking with people to just talking shooting the breeze like with podcasts. He does things about uh, programming. I love this guy's stuff. Again, even though I don't watch him all the time, he has high quality content and that's from all the knowledge that he's gained over the years. So there you have it. Those are five of my favorite channels to look at to learn more about web development and programming. But what are your favorite channels? Did I miss one? Let me know in the comments. Now, of course, if you did like this, give it a like or share it with someone that you know, and I will see you next time. Remember to keep on learning.